Peace be with you. This is Lorelai again. I'm offering you my time for a simple reflection for today's gospel. Today is June 14, and I'm here in Florida. And let's check what's the gospel. So the gospel for today says, it is taken from the gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 43 to 48. You have said, Jesus said to his disciples, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his son rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not, tax, do not the tax collector do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not, do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly father is perfect. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Beautiful. And on our journey in aspiring for our holiness, that is actually what we're with what we are hoping for to be perfect, just like our heavenly Father is perfect. Holy Spirit, be my light, my God, and the words be yours, not mine. While while reading the gospel, I already have thoughts and how I would be reflecting this. For years, this is what I do. I do not do research. I will read, but at the moment that I will share my re reflection, I wanted it to be untainted. It will be only the Holy Spirit will speak up, not me, not my own desire, but it is just him fluidly talking through me. And as I was reading the gospel, what brought me is every day we are put into this guidelines. Remember, we had the last Sunday before last, we discuss or we celebrated the Feast of the Holy Spirit. And I mentioned, how can we love or forgive those who have wronged us so bad that tore us into pieces only to the power of the Holy Spirit? And on Sunday, I same thing for us to see our life through the power of the Holy Trinity, the Father, the wisdom in our life, the Son, the being of who we are, and the Holy Spirit, which is our strength. And giving us the opportunity to always build the character that God wants us to be, the perfection, the perfection that God is asking of us. And that is what we have. And I say, yesterday, if somebody slap you on the right, give your left. And I mentioned to you that it is not because we're stupid that we allow them to do it to us, no. 
because the purpose is beyond what the mind can see or beyond what the 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 whole being of us can understand it is beyond who we are and when we go beyond that phase it is already god working in our life and that is what mm -hmm. i am looking for you know this perfection why do we do all of these things that we do in our life it is not just because we have to earn money money will come and go but our relation to god with god will make us firm and making us holy will provide everything else that we need in life. So love our enemies. That is true. If you only, excuse me, if we only love those who love us, what's the difference? We already love them. But if we will try to love those who do not love us, then there is an effort. There is an improvement of characterization. There is growth in our being. There is wisdom because you are trying to go beyond yourselves and you are trying to fly to the farthest sky because you know that your goal does not belong in this world. Your goal belongs to the Father. Your, our goal is not just only to be rich here on earth, but to, re, to be rich in heaven. And I think it is also age. It is for me, you know, all these quarrels, all these things of assumptions, all the things that we have heard, if we will really mature in our dealings in life, all of this pettiness of anger, of the words, assumption that others are thinking of us, you will just laugh at it. One, if it is not true, then why bother? If what they're telling about you is not true, why bother? Because even if you said something, are they going to believe what you are telling them? I doubt it. Do people see you as what they want you want them to see you? I doubt it. If we will put a face, but everything that behind the face is just a show, like everything is just a show, and everything will come out. And that is how life is. There is no secret that will not be known. There is nothing hidden that will not be explored. Truth will set us free. And I have always said that. All the little things that gives us pain and hindrances to holiness are truly hindrances for us to be perfect. And with God, all things are possible. Nothing is impossible with him. Why? Because he already knew us from the beginning. He knows our needs. He knows our wants. He knows where to bring us and what to do with us. We just have to choose, use our free will, Use our desires. Use all the gifts that God has given us to pursue the holiness that God is wanting of us. Nothing is simple in this. But I guarantee you, if you believe in yourself, if you believe that God is with you, if you believe that everything else in this land are just passing through, and nothing is permanent except for the love of God for you, you will be fine and perfection will be yours. Um, too many things. You know, I, I am not saying things because I look to myself higher than anyone else. No, I am just sharing. I am a sinful person just like anybody else. 
I am striving though not to be sinful. I am striving not to commit the sin. Why? Because I am so in love with God in a way that I can only imagine. I am not sure if, if how to explain it. But if you have learned to love God more than what you can think of, there is fire in your heart, in your soul, in your whole being that you wanted to love him more because there is this certain joy that you can only find in him. So what am I doing with this? How am I living this life? I want to share it with everyone. Not that I am pushing or I'm not lifting myself, but because I wanted to have, I wanted everyone that I know and anyone that I can reach through my daily reflection that there is certain joy that God is giving each one of us. There is certain peace that only him can provide. I go through different challenges in life. You know, last night I was not even moving right. I was in great pain from head to toe. I cannot sleep. I'm changing my position. And then at the last hour at 6 a.m., I went to my mom's room to ask for help because I am really in pain. But why is it that why I am in pain, I am still in peace? Why am I not worried that something is wrong with me? Why is it that I still have this glow in my heart that I know that I am being taken care of by my God? That is the power of moving forward with loving your enemy. Because, you know, all the people I have said to you, all the people have looked to me differently, said things that could damage, you know, damage me in my entirety, I could put grudges into my heart with all of the things that I have heard and was said about me. But I do not have them in my heart. Truthfully and honestly, my heart does not hold any grudges with anyone. Because loving does not have any restriction. You just love. You just love with all of you have. You just love anyone God is giving you. And, and that is the trueness of God's life in you. He will direct you and he will lead, let you live this life. Remember that because if you have learned to leave yourself, rise from your old self and be renewed by the power of God. Those scratches will fall off from your heart. It happened to me. I just woke up. I do not have any ill feelings with anybody. I have memory of what was said to me. I have memory of what was done to me. But do I have grudges among them? No. I just know that it was wrong. Whatever was done, it was wrong. And I speak of it. And I speak of it to the people who are, who have mentioned it. Because I do not use other people to say what I want. If something you are doing to me is wrong, I will tell it to you. I will speak of it. You can get mad at me for telling you the truth, but I know later on, you will realize that what I have done is not for me only, but for you. So you will know that there's always chances and there's opportunity for all of us to grow. The grace is sufficient for all of us. We don't have to steal we do not have to take other people's 
money, property, anything that is of them, even recognition. There is no sense of doing that. You are taking the recognition from me. It will pass. People will forget that. But what they will forget, that what they will remember is how you have lived your life in truth. How you have showed them that before your eyes, this is me. And even if you turn your back on me, even if you turn around sideways, the same person, the same thoughts, the same words will still be the same. I, um, I was told about someone. So there was a conver conversation about a certain person during a lunch, a luncheon. So they were talking about this person and I was just listening because, I, you know, it is their right to speak. So when they asked me, what do, you, do I think? I said, you know, I do not agree with all of you. I was that brave. I said, you know, I do not agree with all of you because that, I know that person. The things you, you have mentioned was not done unto me. If, he, if you thought of you said that he did this to you, he did not do that to me. He was, he was kind and he was respectful to me. He was giving and very generous to me and my family. So why would I say something of him? Even if he did it to you, I do apologize that it happened to you. But to me and my family, this person has become a good one and a caring one and a generous one. So I will not agree. That is your option. That is your truth. And I will respect that if that is what you think of this person. But I won't. I won't change my thought, my belief in that person's heart heart just because someone has someone said to me that this is who it is no and you know until this day i have never changed that they could be mad at me they could turn my backs from me but i am not going to speak ill about another person just because I heard something different than what I have believed in. That's how I have lived this life. And I think I, that is also the same reason why peace has become mine. The peace of God has become present in my heart. That whatever it is, the presence of wisdom the this presence in my in in my being like yesterday we were walking and there was an unleashed dog trying to cop up with my migi mm -hmm. so the dog ran and the owner of the dog was yelling at me and she said bring my migi down and i said no And she was, she was talking crazy to me. And I said, no. So she thought I cannot understand what she's saying because I refuse to say anything else because I will be rude at her. And finally, when she was bothering my mother, I spoke up, I said, I will not bring my dog down to play with your dog. She is in this. Unleash here in the in the state in here in our county, county of Duval, you cannot have your your dog unleash. So if the dog is leash, then I will have her play with Mickey. But the dog is unleash, so I did not bring my dog. I I I was embracing Mickey. 
did I not love my neighbor? I respectfully said no, because what she's doing is wrong by the law. And I have no clue who she is. I have no knowledge if the dog had, was vaccinated or whatever it is, we do not know. I do not know. So I respectfully answered her and moved forward. But the presence of mind on what to do, the presence of mind on what to say, and the presence of mind on how to handle all of this, that's God's gift. That's always God's gift. So that is the reason why I said it is beautiful to believe in the gospel as what the gospel has said today. Be perfect just like your heavenly father is perfect. We are aspiring to be holy because holiness will bring us to perfection and perfection will give us the peace and the serenity that God only can provide. So brothers and sisters, I challenge you, forgive, just love and allow yourself to be soaked in God's mercy and his love. It is a struggle, I know, it is a struggle, but it is also possible. Nothing good will come out of hindrances to sin. Nothing good will come out of all the grudges and the words that will hurt other person. Nothing will come out of all the ill feelings we hold for one another. It will not do us good. And life is too short to hold on to grudges, just love. And believe in yourself that you are worth more than you think you are. You are worth, we are all worth of something valuable. That's why Jesus died for all of us. Don't waste our life. Don't waste this life or something really simple you are worth fighting for and jesus died for all of us let's make it work forgive and love our enemies god bless you all and may god be our light our god forever in this journey God bless you and may his peace be with us always. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thanks be to God.